Epigenetic empowerment, speaking to your DNA's potential. Dr. Bruce Lipton, what if I told you that your DNA is not fixed, it is not etched in stone? Yes, our DNA carries genetic expressions and codes that dictate physical traits and certain tendencies. But it also reflects energetic imprints, traumas, stress patterns and adaptations passed down through generations. So if something runs in your family, like hypertension, it doesn't mean you are doomed to inherit it forever. It simply means there is ancestral stress encoded there. Stress that can be transformed, repatterned into something more powerful. Let me give you a bit of a background into leading edge findings on genes. So Dr. Bruce Lipton is one of the most well-known figures in bringing epigenetics into mainstream awareness. What Dr. Bruce Lipton found was that genes are not destiny. Traditional biology before the 1990s taught that DNA is the master program, fixed, deterministic, and in control of our biology. Lipton's research on stem cells in the 1970s and 80s showed something radical. Identical cells placed in different environments, cultural media, expressed completely different outcomes. In one environment, the cells became bone. In another, they became muscle. In another, they became fat. So the DNA was the same, but the environment controlled which genes were turned on or off. Lipton introduced the idea that beliefs affect biology. If the environment influences cells and our perceptions, beliefs and emotions shape our inner environment. Hormones, neurochemicals, neurotransmitters, stress signals. Then our consciousness can influence genetic expression as well. So this became the basis of his best-selling book, The Biology of Belief, where he explains how thoughts and emotions literally shape biology through epigenetic mechanism. Epi means above, like above genes. The idea that gene expression is influenced by the environment is now core biology. This is what epigenetics means. So genes are not fixed. DNA is not the master controller. It's a blueprint. So your cells respond to not just your diet, but to the vibrations embedded in your consciousness in your words, in your thoughts, in your beliefs, your emotions and feelings, your behavior and actions. So the words you speak, the thoughts you repeat, the stories you tell yourself every single day. We were taught that DNA is fixed and unchangeable, handed down from our parents, but modern science has shattered this myth. Your genes are more like light switches, constantly turning on and off in response to your inner and outer world. So today we are going to explore how language, the words you choose, can literally unlock hidden healing abilities inside your cells. So think about it, identical twins share the same DNA yet often develop different traits and tendencies, even health outcomes. Why? Because lifestyle, beliefs and environment influence their gene expression. This means your DNA isn't a rigid script. It's a responsive orchestra waiting for cues from your mind, your environment and your words. So words are genetic keys unlocking cellular potential. Research on the placebo effect shows this power. When someone believes in healing, their body responds as if the medicine is real. Immune system strengthens, pain decreases, migrable changes occur. That's not a trick of the mind. That's biology listening to belief. That's a huge evolutionary leap right under our nose. And who's paying attention? Back to the point. Now, imagine harnessing that power consciously every time you repeat, I'm prone to getting sick, this runs in my family, or I hope I don't get the flu. That registers as an instruction and you will likely get the flu because hoping is not believing. Belief is knowing, knowing that you won't get the flu and when you know it, you won't. So if you say, I never heal, 
you are sending signals to your cells. On the contrary, every time you affirm that my body knows how to heal, you are giving your DNA a completely different instruction. Words become keys, turning genetic switches on or off. Now, how to activate your inner pharmacy? How to activate the latent healing abilities? So your body already contains a powerful inner pharmacy. White blood cells ready to protect, stem cells waiting to repair, neurochemicals designed to elevate mood and clarity. Epigenetics shows us you can literally turn on genes for resilience, detoxification and regeneration while silencing the ones tied to stress, inflammation and disease. Your words are not decoration, they are genetic instructions. Morning genetic reset before touching your phone, say out loud, every cell in my body is aligned with health, energy and renewal. So your DNA hears that instruction. Interrupt the negative script. When you catch yourself saying, I'm always tired, pause and reframe, I'm learning to restore my energy. Now pair words with breath. As you inhale, think I activate healing. As you exhale, think I release what no longer serves me. So try it now. Just one breath like this creates a shift you can feel. So healing is a choice you make. It is a decision you take. It is not wishing, wanting, hoping. It is a collapse of the old identity that kept the disease in place. It is about embracing a new empowered identity. Do you feel good and empowered in your old self? If not, choose a new identity, one that feels good. If you are tired of poor me, depressed me or anxious me, make a new choice today. You must choose. You must hold a powerful intent and not cancel it with self-doubt. And then you watch as synchronicities begin to happen. As the universe or God brings you the right people, the right books, the right teachers, friends that align with your new chosen identity. Now integrate these words with movement, hydration, nutrition, and that signals to your DNA to become even stronger. Your lifestyle becomes a conversation with your genes. The future of well-being needs your active participation. Here is the breakthrough. You are not at the mercy of your DNA. You are in dialogue with it. Your words, your thoughts, your daily practices, they shape how your genes express themselves. This means health is not just about genetics, it is about your participation with those genes. So tonight, speak to your DNA. Tell your body what you want it to know. I'm whole, I'm resilient, I'm healing. Because the future of well-being is not passive, it's you actively shaping your biology one conscious word at a time. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.